Hello everybody, uh, we're back with another episode of Resident Evil Zero HD Remastered today. Um, we're just going to continue as usual and get the scrapling going and see if we can't find a bloody storage chest. <laughs> right, let's get this on. I uh, need to swap to Rebecca. Uh, why is this not changing? Bit of delay here. Just uh, pull that lever and swap to Billy and grab the gun. I dumped some uh, ink ribbons in the uh, save room earlier so that I would have room for it. Yes, I'll happily take that hook shot. Not sure what's going to benefit us at the moment. Uh, hook shot operate as manual. Warning, this device should only be used when inspecting difficult access car roofs or when connecting special trains. Return to its proper location after use. Where to use? There is a ladder outside the small window by the first floor section door of the third carriage. Okay, that's kind of handy. The ladder outside the small window by the first floor section of the third carriage. Find the device so that it hooks high onto the ladder. Use the winch to climb after securing the hook. Use the winch to lift yourself up. This grappling hook can only lift one person at a time. Be aware that the unit may be damaged if lifting more than 80 kilograms. Okay, so that was the third car, I think it said. Uh, outside the small window by the first floor section door of the third carriage. First floor section door, must try to remember that. Right, uh, animation not for a moment there, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> Now, I'm getting the feeling we might have to use this with uh, Rebecca, as I've got a funny feeling that uh, the very fact they even mentioned a weight limit on it means that Billy might be too heavy for it. So that was the uh, first carriage that we've just went through. Uh, this is the second. And this should be the third. And it's set on the first floor. I'm assuming it means first floor in the British style rather than the ground floor, which is what we would already be on. Um, mm, there is no first floor here, and there's certainly no ladder here. So, did it mean. How do I get my map up? Uh, not like that, but we'll get her inside, anyways. How do I map? There we go, that's what we're looking for. So that's one at the very front. Two, three, so it might be... Yeah, I guess that's the way that's got to be. The next one along from my Billy is the cross section just in the middle here. I wish you could load these guys through the door at the same time instead of having to load the door, then switch back to load the door again. <laughs> Alright, uh, Rebecca. Now this is the third, third car, I guess, as uh, it's got the... well, it hasn't got a ladder in it, it's got some stairs in it. Um... Don't see what's going to be useful there. There's a window there, but I don't see any stairs, uh, ladder to go along with it. Um, I know there's a ladder in this room here, but uh, it's not the first floor as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I don't think there's a window in this room that I recall. There might be. <laughs> um, there's a window and it's next to a ladder, but uh, I don't think we're going to be able to use it there. But besides, we need to change back to Billy anyways, because he's the one with the hook shot. Right. 
check that window. Uh, through the window you can see a broken ladder. Uh, maybe I was talking about that. Uh, it's of no use right now. Um, let me see. Can we use that then? Okay, unless I misread the description there. That is not next to a ladder game. It's next to stairs. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. At least we're moving forward, that's the main thing. Uh, or we would be if this hole wasn't being such a pain. It looks like there's a passenger cabin below the crack. Jump down through the crack? Yes, I might as well. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, just stay very, very quiet. Are you dead? See maybe. Boxes filled with passengers' belongings. They all look extremely valuable. Uh, the room is furnished with a single bed. It's soaked from the rain, but I want the bullets. Thank you. Now, what have we got here? No idea. I haven't got room for it. Deja vu. And that looks to be a knife. Carry this now. I don't know why I would need two knives. Maybe you want to uh, pass on to Rebecca, I suppose, but uh, we'll find a use for it somewhere, somehow. Uh, this isn't looking good. This is looking very, very bad, in fact. from that weird little um, white box that we couldn't pick up. I'm not sure how that benefited us. Let's swap back to Rebecca so we can pick it up and uh, see what actually is. Assuming that she's got space as well, that is. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Uh, we've got one space, not ideal, but I'll have to do. back this way, wasn't it? Alright, uh, we can go up these stairs here. Because we don't have the hook shot to go the same way that Billy went. And the item was in here, I believe. Right, uh, it didn't look like a keycard, but I'm hoping that it is a keycard. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Uh, jewellery box. Alright, I uh, need to get a look at that. I think see what's actually inside it if we can. Uh, looks like a case for holding jewellery. Open it. Yes, please. Aha! Let's leave a ring for the uh, briefcase. Right, now I think uh, I left the briefcase with Billy, didn't I? Ah, so of course the briefcase will probably have the keycard in it, the sort of thing that I would ex expect uh, executive uh, professional sort of people to use to uh, hold security cards and whatnot. <laughs> right, uh, inventory. And bring that up. And uh, we'll give you the Molotovs. Right, and then we combine you with that. And uh, examine it. Uh, briefcase has been unlocked. Open it. Yes, please. And there's the key card. Blue key card. Nothing too fancy about it. Uh, Jimmy Lewis, whoever that is, probably one of the developers. <laughs> right. Now then, uh, shall we take anything extra? No, we'll just leave that stuff behind, I think. 
maybe we'll uh, be able to come back for it later. Maybe not. But, uh, I don't think it should matter too much. Just going off the sheer amount of bullets that's provided with her uh, and being on easy mode. Probably won't need it. Back to the uh, conductor's room, as I think that was right next to where the uh, keycard door was. Such a uh, struggle getting used to these camera angles. Alright, uh, it's locked. Uh... There's a card reader here. It looks like the door will open if you if you have the right card. Well, I do have the right card, so can I please use it? The door is now unlocked. You won't be needing this card anymore. Throw it away. Yep, might as well get some more space. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, those slugs are way more dangerous than uh, than the look. <laughs> but uh, yeah, interesting point there. Uh, how did it manage to infect the train three miles away from the lab? And uh, probably something to do with that guy on the hill, I suppose. But things are finally starting to get a bit more interesting with uh, Wesker Maitner's appearance. It's too dangerous to go on alone. <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll get Billy down there as well then. Alright, so we're about both back together. Uh, I went back and got the knife on uh, Rebecca, just in case we need it. So uh, let's go through the store and see what's about to happen. It's too dangerous to go on alone. I know that. That's why I've got Billy stand right next to me, game. Uh, okay, I found out what the issue was. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, got to go into this menu here and uh, partner up the top. And then uh, change it from uh, solo to uh, team so that they co cooperate with the partner. Bit of an uh, oddity of uh, old game design I suppose, but uh, hopefully this should work and get me through that door now, seeing as uh, we've both been stood together for, uh, for a while now. <laughs> there we go. Uh, dead body. The train is quickly picking up speed. Uh, that's not good. Uh, do anything with these switches? The engine chamber is badly damaged. There's no way to fix it. Okay. And uh, can I use that door? It is a door, isn't it? I guess not. Right. Into here. Operation manual. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step 1 activating the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. First, car driver's compartment, which I believe is where we are. 
rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls. Step 2. Enter rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment can code can be entered. Step 3. Enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes can be used. Okay. Right, uh, who will stay behind? I think uh, we'll leave three back up behind. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. What? Oh, on a timer? We don't even have a code for the back room yet. Ah, and I just sort of... Uh... At least I'm assuming that's the uh, card on the uh, bench. Where is it? Give me. Why against the time again? Come on! Ah! <laughs> ah! I'll leave the Molotovs behind. And uh, pick the card. Did, uh, yeah, we got the. Uh... Alright, let's get moving. Oh bloody hell, that was a bad idea, running past him straight away. Are you dead? Yeah, it looks like you want to see the puddle of blood. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. A quick reload before we end up in trouble. Oh, no, I was just going to say we're still fine. <laughs> You're probably not going to be dead from just... No, you are dead. <laughs> Let's quickly reload again. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> any more zombies in this room. <laughs> Alright. Oh great, a member of Stars, one of my, uh, well, one of Rebecca's teammates, not one of Billy's teammates. <laughs> oh great, he's still alive right when I'm choosing to reload. Hopefully that's unfinished. Almost where we need to be. Uh, hopefully no more zombies out here. Mm -hmm. There's a hand operated brake here. You'll need a magnetic card operated. Well, lucky for you, we have one. Uh, is there any code on it? That's the question that I'm wondering. Oh crap, we're meant to use. Should have uh, examined it first. 0081. You can use this to operate the brake. Uh, there is no zero, so do I just go 81? Wait, what? Math puzzles. Here we go. Seventy-two. And we would need eight. One. This is 
Billy. I've engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. Uh, put the brake on now. Uh, is that where I was already standing? 36. Um... Uh... Wouldn't have been that simple. Um, how the heck are we going to do this? 9, 18, 27. No, that's not going to work, is it? Um, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. No, that's definitely not uh, going to work. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 buttons it looks like, uh, so we do uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 34, 36. All right. Uh, finally get this train stopped and the way things are going I get the feeling it's going to uh, derail <laughs> Just alive there, buddy. <laughs> Rebecca. Where's Rebecca? Yeah, Rebecca. Rebecca. <laughs> I'm here. Are you all right? Hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we <gasps> managed. We have to find a way out. Oh, nope. Uh, Right, so that's what it is when uh, you have the partner setting set to cooperate. He's actually doing that all by himself. I'm not doing anything right there. <laughs> right, so let's have a look around this little area of flames. Probably don't want to be going down there. Uh, dead body is there anything? No, that must have just been the body of the uh, zombie. Wow, lots of items. I'm guessing this is all the uh, items I left behind on the train. <laughs> Been flung from it when it crashed. <laughs> right, let's see what's through here. Hopefully a save room. And maybe even a storage box. <laughs> The sewage water gives off a stench so bad it makes your eyes water. Okay. Um, guess we can't go through this gate, but I'm going to do a quick check anyways. Danger, authorised personnel only. Um, okay, so I guess we're going up here. And uh, up this ladder. Yep. Research Center? So, uh, is this the mansion from the first game? Certainly looks like it. The first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> Who are you? 
It was I who scattered the T-Virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge. On Umbrella. So what does this guy have to do in the uh, grand scheme of things? Uh, obviously he says he spread the virus throughout the mansion. But uh, getting revenge on him? <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> uh, right. It's a huge portrait of the first director of the facility, James Marcus. Right. Please tell me we can find a save room or some kind of storage box around here. Uh, hopes we don't need that. That ladder looks like it's going to take us back to where we just came from. The ceramic pot is decorated in an oriental style. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Okay. Uh, from the stable. Ah, typewriter. Uh, pick those up. Uh, we'll uh, pick up those ink ribbons. Uh, oh wait, we haven't got any room for them. Uh, okay, we'll leave some stuff behind. Um, mm, we'll leave the... Uh, that's what the fuck Billy's got. Leave the hook shop behind. I don't think we'll be needing that anytime soon, I would hope. Um, how do I select him? Okay, never mind. We'll just uh, select them directly rather than trying to select his inventory. And we'll drop the shot. I can't see us needing that anytime soon, although uh, obviously uh, it didn't tell us you want to get rid of it because we probably won't be needing it. But it's taking up a lot of space, so let's get rid of that. Uh, and while we're at it, reload his gun. Uh, pick up those ink ribbons if you would. And we shall get a save, and we shall call that an episode right there. Seems a good point to end the episode, so we'll see you guys next time.